So let's talk about the number one cause of chronic fatigue if you're over the age of 50. I have some very interesting information. This has to do with low stomach acids. Let me give you a little background first. The purpose of stomach acid, hydrochloric acid, is to, number one, break down protein into amino acids. Number two, to help you absorb minerals like iron and magnesium, calcium, etc. But also, hydrochloric acid is also necessary for helping you absorb B12. So both types of anemia is related to low stomach acid. Also, the hydrochloric acid is necessary to kill microbes in your gut. If you don't have enough acid, you can develop a condition called SIBO, small intestine bacterial overgrowth. And the problem with that condition is you have other microbes, which are in a place where they shouldn't be, the small intestine, competing for your nutrients. So that's one reason why you're gonna be tired right there. But if you're anemic because of either iron or B12, even at the subclinical level, you are going to be tired. Not to mention, if you consume protein, especially red meat, and you can't digest it, you're going to get tired. So there's many reasons why low stomach acid uh, leads to fatigue. And just as a side note, if you don't have enough hydrochloric acid in your stomach, you can get GERD, indigestion, bloating, allergies, and even gallstones. Now, what's the significance of hydrochloric acid and your age? As you get older, you produce less and less hydrochloric acid. In fact, there's one study, which I'll put a link down below, that talked about a high percentage of postmenopausal women having low stomach acid, and that was up to 40%. So that's, that's pretty high. Also, there's another condition called atrophic gastritis, in which a person has atrophy of certain parts of their stomach caused by low stomach acid. And that usually occurs if you're over the age of 60. So this acid is so vitally important, especially when you get older, especially in the area of nutrients, because the older you get, the more absorption of these nutrients that you need. Now, there's also a condition called idiopathic, which means unknown cause, iron deficiency anemia. And one study, which I'll put down below, discusses the high rate up to 44% of the population who has idiopathic iron deficiency anemia has achlorhydria, which is a lack of stomach acid. So what you need to know is a lot of people don't have enough acid in their stomach and things get worse as you age. And this directly relates to your energy level. Other causes of low stomach acid could be having severe hypothyroidism, being on a low salt diet, not having enough potassium in your diet, having low amounts of iodine, having low amounts of zinc. These nutrients are needed in producing hydrochloric acid. And of course, if you're on an antacid, that can also be a root cause as well. So what is the solution to all this? Very simple. Start taking betaine hydrochloride. It's a natural acidifier. And I would recommend taking between four and five just before you eat. And sometimes in the beginning, you might need actually more than that when you're starting out. Also realize that it might take some time to reestablish this hydrochloric acid, especially if it's a chronic problem. But you should notice some significant results within days to maybe up to a week. And one last point, the only contraindication that I know about with betaine hydrochloride is if you have an ulcer. And you're going to find out real quick because if you take this, if you have an ulcer, you're going to have a burning sensation. But for the majority of the population, you're going to have, feel better, you're going to have more energy, and you're going to digest a lot better. All right. Thanks for watching.